Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios for your 2019 NFL Week 7 primetime game. Highlight comments every week. Start out in Dallas. Put our fingers. Dallas Goddard doing his best impersonation of a Mandingo warrior doing planks because he put his balls on the floor. Fumble on the plate recovered by their boy. That's what I like to see. Out to Meth Life Stadium we go. The Lali Lule low. Third and seven. Tom Brady. Eh? He'd connect with his man and convert on third down. Keep this in mind. Speaking of Orlando Scandrick, is he still with Drea Michelle? That quarter's in wanton wench said your wholeness can be deleted. I swear harlots say the damnedest things. But Tavon Austin went into the end zone for a damn boy's touchdown. I don't think I'm considered a hoe no more. I haven't really got no, nobody in the last, like, two or three years. She said no more. <laughs> no, your, whole, your wholeness can get deleted. Your wholeness can get deleted. Your wholeness can get deleted. What? Your wholeness can get deleted. You remind me of a jackass. And I thought they said Cowboys fans were dumb. That's why we got rid of Orlando Scandrick a few years ago, because he was affiliating with stupid people. How can you say your wholeness can be deleted? Kim Kardashian used to be a hoe. She may not be a hoe right now, but her history of hoeing is still on the record. Wholeness can't be deleted. That's stupid. You know who else is stupid? All 31 other teams in the NFL, because they don't got deck. They don't got Zeke. They not them boys. We go into the Super Bowl. Yet another third down. Eh? Tom Brady would connect with Julian P.E.D. Edelman. They'd move the chains again. Meanwhile, on the ensuing Philly possession. Come here. Shit. Gotcha, bitch. No. I fall my strip sack on the play recovered by the Cowboys. <laughs> on the very next play. Hey, Malcolm Jenkins, you ever drove a Ford pickup truck? Ezekiel Elliott would feed him a shoulder pad, go into the end zone for the Cowboys touchdown. But upon further review, turns out he was down by contact at the one yard line. They may have erased the touchdown, but they did not erase the trucking of Malcolm Jenkins. Very next play, the Eagles defense don't seem like they hungry for shoulder pads. So Zeke would jump into the end zone, touchdown Cowboys, two touchdown lead. We them boys, we not losing more games. We them boys, NFC East chance. We them boys, Super Bowl, here we come. We them boys. Yet another third down for the Patriots. Eh? Tom Brady would find his man and convert. The Jets couldn't stop three doors down on third down. Following Eagles possession. Hey, Jordan Howard. What? Are you a virgin? No. So hit that hole. He'd pick up a Philly first down. The Patriots now in the period colored zone. Fuck Xbox. We play Sony PlayStation Michelle. He'd go into the end zone on third and two, I might add, for the Patriots touchdown. They converted on four third downs. The Jets couldn't get off the field. Meanwhile, in Dallas. As Jordan Howard's picking up more yards on this drive than a greedy real estate investor. He moved the chains again. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Sam, I look like a Lego police officer, Darnold. Damn, bro, it's your first pass of the game. You already threw an interception. It's picked off by Devin McCourty. Hey, Sam, keep your head up. It's not all bad. Remember, you started your career with a pick six, and then you went on to win that game. It's not like you're going to throw another interception, right? Back to Dallas we go. Carson Wentz looking over the middle. He's got Dallas Goddard, who plays the same position as Dallas Clark. He scored a touchdown in Dallas. For the Philadelphia Eagles, Diamond Dallas Page. I just really like saying Dallas. The Patriots would connect on a 34-yard field goal and take a 10-0 lead. Following Cowboys possession, second and seven for Dick. Would you look at that? The Jets got to stop on third down. Eh? They'd let him convert on fourth. And two plays later, Tom Brady takes the snap, looking to go deep. Eh? He's got, whoa, is that a black guy? It's caught by Philip Dorsett in the end zone. You know the Patriots got an amalgam of Negroes now, right? This is scary. Plus, they just traded for Muhammad Sanu. It turns out the Patriots wide receivers isn't the land of the white people no more. One quick look at Matt Ryan when he heard the news. Ah! Here come the Jets, baby. Holy shit! Sam, I look like a Lego police officer. Darnold would fumble on the play. It's picked up by Chips Ahoy. Kyle Van Noy. He runs it into the end zone for another Patriots touchdown. But wait a minute. It was all again. There was footsies going on when the ball was recovered. He's down by contact. Two turnovers in your first three possessions. That is terrible. But hey, it's not like you're going to turn the football over again, right? Who the hell gave Tony Pollard three pills of Viagra? This man is making Eagles miss, refusing to go down. He'd pick up a Dallas Cowboys first down. The Lali Lule low in the Ula Ula zone. Rosetta Stone Hawaiian, motherfucker. As fuck Xbox, Sony PlayStation Michelle goes into the end zone for another Patriots touchdown. Ensuing drive. 
dive for the Jets. Sam, I look like a Lego police officer. Darnold going down the field. He throws it to absolutely nobody. But there's laundry on the field. Past interference on the defense. A few plays later, Sam, I look like a Lego police officer. Darnold throws it to absolutely nobody again. But there's more laundry on the field. Roughing the passer on the defense. Back to the land of Thin Booth. Second and nine. Thick would find Randall Corn on the cob. He'd carry it to the one and on the very next play. Thick play action fake. He'd find Blick Jerwin wide open. It appears the entire Eagles defense did not consider this man a threat. Touchdown, Cowboys. Thick a tick. Thick a tick. Following the referees, bringing them down the field. Darnold's got a man. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted. Okay, that's two interceptions and one fumble. Three turnovers. I'm pretty sure my math is pretty good. But it's not like you're going to turn it over again, right? It's still early in the game. Ensuing Cowboys possession. Dick takes the snap, looking to go down the field. He's got Amari. Armani exchange Cooper. He'd unplug the controller of Orlando Scandrick and carry it into Eagles territory. Following play, Dick would pitch it to Thick. Get your bitch ass off me. Don't you ever touch me. He'd carry it for a Cowboys first down. Then two plays later, Dick would... <laughs> What happened to his hands? Brett Maher would line up for a 26-yard field goal. He kicks it through the uprights, and it's good. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Come here. Horace Here come the Jets, baby. Sam Donald looking to throw the ball to the... Brett Meyer would line up for a 63-yard field goal. This man's got more leg than a centaur. He'd kick it through the uprights. It's good. New Cowboys record. 27-7 lead going into halftime. Cody Pocky. You couldn't dream of making a kick that distance. I actually just saw the Jokers movie. I was disappointed. I didn't see you at the agency. Doink the clown. Put your motherfucking head back down, you goddamn bum. We'd into the second half. Thick takes the snap. Nani? No. I got you now, SpongeBob. Cool, right? Let's try this again. Dak takes the snap. Come here. A wild Sangther used false swipe, but Dallas would maintain possession. Hey, remember Robbie Anderson's 92 yard touchdown last week? Yeah, I remember. Fuck it. He down there somewhere. Yoink. First dreadlocks, three versus 12. Sam Darnold might not be shit. Trusting the power of dreadlocks, you'll get the pick as Stephon Gilmore gets an interception. Okay, Sam, that's three interceptions. It's not like you're gonna turn the football over again, right? Quick, Carson, use the escape rope. <laughs> Oh, he escapes towards his left. He'd find Nelson occasional hands Aguilar to move the chains. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! You can't shoot bullets with your guns on safety. Two for your mistakes. Fuck! Ensuing possession for the Lali Lule low. Tom Brady hit from behind. <laughs> it's intercepted by Tremaine Johnson. Did somebody unplug the controllers at the right side of the offensive line? Why the hell weren't they moving? All Sean Jeffrey inside the 15. The Jets have life third and 10. Sam, I look like a Lego police officer. Donald in the yoink. And it's gone. Intercepted once again. Sam Donald! You threw four interceptions, fumbled once, and had a safety? Put your motherfucking head back down. But it's not all your fault. Adam Gaze. What kind of coach calls deep crossing routes when their quarterback only has like one second in the pocket? Who hired you? Somebody take this man's playbook. Your quarterback got less protection than a blood in a crip neighborhood, and you over here calling five-step drops. Put your motherfucker head back down, you goddamn bum. Maybe if you wasn't high, baby, the entire goddamn season, you wouldn't only have one win. Too busy sniffing salt, you can't sniff a good play. Somebody go find his real body and unplug him from the Matrix. This is punishable by death. Your play calls are like cat calling. Them motherfuckers never work. Hey, look, Jake Elliott would connect on a 38-yard field goal and cut the Philly deficit to 17. Following the interception, eh? James, I may be black, but the Patriots keep me around because I'm white. Homie run like he got a dildo up his ass. This is easily one of the most bizarre running forms I've ever seen in my life. It's as if his thighs never stop rubbing together. He must have turned into some sort of duck because it looks as if he's trying to waddle away. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. 
following the Elliott field goal. Dick takes the snap, going deep. He's got a Murray Armani exchange. Cooper, he would make Jalen Mills feel his nutsack. Meanwhile, it's still fuck Xbox on the period colored zone as Sony PlayStation Michelle would go into the end zone for his third touchdown on the day. It appears Ted Bundy is headed to New York and Brett Maher would give Dallas a 20 point lead on the ensuing drive. Carson Wentz going down the field, Scott a man. Doink. But he plays for the other team pass intercepted by the Dallas Cowboys. Wait a minute, what part of the game is this? Byron Jones just put his whole balls and shaft in the face mask of Xavier Woods. When they said an interception was catching the ball, I had no clue this was the kind of balls they were talking about. How you trying to get a blowjob in the middle of the damn game? You gotta quarantine your whole face mask, smelling like mad sweaty nuts. And on top of that, this is harassment. Me too. Me too. I don't mind. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But Dick would give it right back because he's looking to go deep. He's got a man in the end zone. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by Jalen Mills. The Eagles looking for a miraculous comeback. Carson Wentz looking to go deep. He's got Nelson. Occasional hands. Aguilar and... If you ever needed a reason why people call this man Nelson Occasional Hands Aguilar, you alligator armed a pass. Down by 20 in the fourth quarter? Not only is this man's hands only for decoration, his brain and IQ is only for decoration. When you die, you can't donate your brain for CTE research because they ain't gonna find anything there. How can you not compute to put your hands out to catch the football? Delete his Madden character. Cut him from the team. You should not be allowed to play football anywhere. Holy shit. shit, shit, shit. Following the Eagles turnover, the Dallas Cowboys are taking a dead Namekian to the morgue because they're looking to put the nail in the coffin. Dick would call his own number, dial up voicemail, go into the end zone. Dallas takes a 27-point lead. Let's go, baby. We got Dick. We got Dick. Amari Cooper, Van Der Ed, Jalen Smith, Demarcus Lawrence, Tony Romo on commentary, Troy Aikman on commentary, Skip Bayless, the analyst, Jerry Jones, we did fight! The Eagles never gonna stop us. We can went to the Super Bowl. A little over nine minutes left to play. Ensuing drive for those Eagles. Carson Wentz would find Dallas Goddard who'd split in the middle of a few Dallas defenders for a first down. Then two plays later, Carson Wentz would find more tight ends than Freddie Mercury before social media. He's got Zach Ertz. He'd bring it inside the 25. Fourth and four for the Eagles. Carson Wentz. Game over. What happened to his hands? But the Jeffrey Dahmer necrophilia challenge would not stop for the Philadelphia Eagles because they may be dead. But somehow, they were still getting fucked as they would lose by 27. Cry, Eagles, cry on the way to misery. Cry, Eagles, cry. The Cowboys give you the D. Cry, Eagles, cry. You ain't it, when will you see? Cry, Eagles, cry. Them boys with an alarm body. D E M D O Y S. We that boy! And just when you thought things could not get any worse for the New York Jets, but a thing is, fumble on a play recovered by the Patriots. The Ted Bundy necrophilia challenge has not stopped in Meth Life Stadium because the Jets may be dead, but somehow they were still getting fucked for the New York Jets and the Philadelphia Eagles. Take out your Metro card. And get aboard the L train. Why aren't you following me? Why haven't you subscribed already? You don't hear this shit? I'm hilarious. What the hell's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? Oh, son.
Just do 